Yeah.
shots all the way down. Do you? I got some good video. Hi, there's a one over there. Oh no, I'm I'm good. I, I already put it in my car. Okay, there were two masks that you didn't. Oh, no. I didn't get. Yeah. They didn't put it in the bag. I guess not. So oh, one or two just stop shots. Yes, sir. Um, okay. The, just go ahead and exit out. Okay. The, uh, the back, if you would. Thank Be you. Careful. Good. So he's blowing the horn. <laughs> so maybe he'll know whether that prime mover is the original one or who's that. They might be doing it on the ride. I, I, I think it might be the last one. Are there a lot of people over there? Um, This might be my chance to get those steels coming up that hill. I think I will. I think you're right.
I think this might be the last run of the day. Oh, there you go. Oh, you got it. I got it. Let me know if I'm in the way. Mm, good. No, I don't think I'm in the But I know we can't do that now. <laughs> uh, if we could do the cow, we would have done the cow, but you know, it's all good. We enjoying ourselves, glad we're here. Good. It's all good. How much, how much more horsepower will the fart well to this? <laughs> you know, I didn't know the horsepower, but uh, that's got to be Those are bigger, uh, those are bigger. Yeah. yeah. This thing. It was only one time, I forget what it was. I bet, I bet something like 1,500 or 1,000. This is about 1,000. Really? Well, I'm thinking some of the early diesels that were big were 1,000. You know, it's pretty small. This is two, though, right? Yeah, it's two uh, coming diesels.
Thing, sir. Count, count, count up here. Okay. One and two, right? One and two. Yep. One and yep. Two. One and two. Or one and two. <laughs> well, so. with this belly, I'm, I'm, I'm. You might be one and a half. One and a half. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, first of all, thank y'all for coming out today. We appreciate you being here. Um, my name is Randy Minner. 
I am the current collection manager here, meaning that I'm in charge of all these different pieces. Um, this particular engine was built for Seaboard Coastline in 1974. August of 74, and is an EMD SP45-2. It became CSX8954 and was used until retired in 2012. Okay. It was retired in 2012 and sent to White Cross, Georgia to be rebuilt to be a training locomotive for the Atlanta Training Center for CSX. It stayed there until three years ago when the training center closed, having never been used. So, Isn't that something? Yeah. So we had a good friend at CSX that approached us and said, hey, listen, uh, they're going to go ahead and write this engine off the clothes, even though it had already been retired. And we want, they wanted it off the property, which I'll be interested in taking. And we're like, absolutely. Because it was in great shape, had a great paint job on it, had been painted at Wake Cross. So we took it uh, two years ago this month, at the end of the month, and we were really happy that CSX was generous, generous enough to donate it to us. It is, as far as we know, the only remaining SD45-2 that has not been derated with a 20 from a 20-cylinder engine to a 16. That's the original prime mover. It is the original prime mover. That was movie. my big question. So it's, that's an SD45 prime mover. It is. It is a 45-2 yes. prime mover, which means it has the improved crankshafts as well. And it is. That was the big problem with right. the old ones. Correct. They like to shear and being being cranked. But anyway, so most of them got derated to 30, 30, 3,000 horsepower from 3,600. This one is built 3,600 as built. There are only a few modifications that have been made to it from when it was Seaboard Coastline. They added this alerter. Originally, it would have had a dead man's pedal on it. It would have originally had a oscillating headlight, which is no longer there, but they put the ditch lights on and a few other minor things here and there. Mm -hmm. There is a, if you look through that porthole right there, you'll see a little, Handle, red handle. The what's in there is a whole bunch of solid state electronic cards. Is what makes this thing a dash two because they went to the electronics is the dash two. Correct. Now one thing I noticed, this doesn't have the flared radiator That's correct. that the early models had. The forty five was built that way, right? Right. The forty fives have flared radiators and were shorter <coughs> than the forty five dash twos. The forty five or dash twos were longer than the forty dash two or the forty fives, the straight forty fives. So they had less radiator than this one does. They had an additional radiator capacity. I'm going to pop this down just a little bit. I'll let you see what those cards look like. That's what the electronics look like. Oh my god, look at that. Yep. Wow. And that's what makes it a dash two. All those electronics. Yep. Because originally it would have not been nothing but relays and, and you know stuff like that. Pneumatic relays and relays down there. So a lot of that was done to think cathode ray tubes yes. versus right. transistors. So it's really the engine that it was when the coastline got it, pretty much. And that's one thing that was, was made it real interesting to us. Mm -hmm. If it had had crappy paint, it probably would have been interesting to get it back in the seaboard coastline. Well, and eventually, years from now, when the paint goes bad, we probably will put it back in the seaboard coastline. But, you know, that's not going to happen tomorrow. So mm. it's, uh, it's in good shape. We keep it washed so that the paint will last. So. I was here when Ken Janicki from NS yep. spotted this engine in here. Oh, yeah. And I was here when he spotted the uh, F unit. I know they got all their, a bunch of the guys that were on the crew got their picture made on it. So. I took that photo. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I took a, a photo, but I took a photo yeah. of him father and son and the father and son was spotting the other yes that's right. that's right that was ken and his son craig yeah. 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 So. i remember this unit going in here and it's a bit of a yeah it's it, to, to get over the yeah. hump there is is not the easiest of maneuvers no no well, that's cool they actually when they spotted the f unit they used an x conrail GP40-2, and the horn was actually on the side. Yeah. Yeah, we've actually got a set of seaboard horns we're going to put back on this one. We just haven't gotten to it. This winter, I'm probably, be awesome. yeah. this, this winter I'm probably going to finally get some work done on this. Kevin, Kevin, we've got a 
clean some more injectors still? Yeah, no, he says it doesn't load right now. I'm it doesn't load. Yeah, right. yeah it, it doesn't load. So he's got some troubleshooting to do there, but we got to get the injectors right and, and get enough lube oil in it so it'll stay cranked. Because right now, if, after it gets warm, maybe it'll trip the oil button because it gets too thin. So, Boy, once you get this thing up and running, yeah. the sky's the limit. You can move anything around. <laughs> yeah. That much horsepower? Yeah. I don't think there's anything you couldn't spot up to and move. Right. Yeah. So everybody's like, well, you're going to use it on a train. No, we're not going to use it on a train. It's just, <laughs> it's just way too much energy. It burns too much fuel. And we're, we'll use it for special stuff, but that's it. You know, stuff like today when we got a special event, we might have it. We, We've actually talked about doing throttle time with different engines out here like the E. So, and I love the sound of EMDs. They just fall like a good. So. Now this has a regular turbocharger versus the GEs, which have roots below it. Right, this is a turbocharger. Interesting. There so oh, that yeah. was 211 that went south. That's 222 stopped. Yeah. He'll need another southbound at the loop. Oh boy. That's mm. why I was sneaking photographs. Now, I remember a year ago, 222 was very, very, very hot. I don't know how hot it is anymore, but used to, it was pretty hot. He doesn't have pigs, so. Yeah. Except his counterpart on Sunday gets piggyback loads okay. only on that one day. Any other day of the week, there's no piggyback loads, and that's your Atlanta to Charlotte run. Yeah. But lately, he's been getting BNSF power because he takes a cut of cars off 264 out of Nashville. Mm -hmm. That train originates in LA. Okay. And it's now originating out of, I think, Santa Barbara, but it was originating out of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And he'll also sometimes get the power off 210. And that's BNSF power. So you'll actually see him a lot, a couple days a week with those orange engines. Mm -hmm. I'm not here very much. I mean, you know, just Saturdays usually. Sunday, I'm just out here to tour people this weekend because we thought there'd be something nice to do. Right, right. I'm glad you opened this engine and thank you for letting us up. Yeah, no, thank I'm you so of, much. You know, Appreciate we'd it. We've sort of been waiting a while and trying to. They were trying to sort and uh, we try to do it, but uh, we get occupied with the train yeah. coming in. Yeah. So we try to do everything before y'all close for the end of the yeah, day. That's so. fine. No okay. He's going to show us that prime mover. Yeah. Yeah, come uh, on down there. We'll look at that big old prime mover. Yeah. You all right? Thanks, sir. So it has been, we have cranked it now. Um, we, like I said, we got some more injector work to do. But we've cranked it, and, and we've cranked it more than once. So we're, we're getting there, but this winter, this has been so hot, I hadn't really, Kevin and I haven't really wanted to do anything with it. Um, it's just amazing how big that is. Yeah. So one of the things, I know you, you understand all this, but one of the things, the way that I describe this to people is, you know, these are 645 in the pro, each power, power pack. And that's almost like two NASCAR engines as far as the total cubic displacement. And one of, one of the 645 up, cubic inches in each power pack yes. power assembly, but two NASCAR engines would be that's 358 twice. So I've been saying, okay, think two NASCAR engines here, 20 almost the entire NASCAR field as far as cubic displacement in one engine. So because you're talking about maybe 39 cars as opposed to 42 NASCARs uh -huh. total, and then I'll tell them, okay, there's 265 gallons of lube oil down there. And I'll say, that's a seven thousand dollar oil change down there. Mm. And and they're like, Well gosh. And these things burn oil. Yes. <laughs> and they're like, Well gosh, how how often do they have to change oil? I'm like, Well, they don't really. They just kind of put oil in as they burn off. I said, but they do on the ninety two and days to ninety two day inspection take samples and make sure that the oil's not too thin or full of contaminants. I said, if they see that it's too thin and not full of contaminants, then they'll change it. If it really needs it, so if they see it's full of contaminants, they start looking in there. So the oil mixes in with the diesel? No. Oh, okay.
I got to. That thing was getting diesel in it. 1026, and we had to do some more. Gotcha. Yeah, you don't want to see diesel in your car. You don't want to see water. You don't want to see zinc, and you don't want to see copper. And then this is the uh, Chevrolet Silverado that we had in the back. Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. Start switch. Water tanks. Of course, you got your blue wall filter tank down there too. And these are the radiators. You need a whole lot of radiator for that 3600 horse 20 cylinder engine. These, unlike GEs, are always pumping water through the cooling system. GEs are dry systems. They only start pumping when they need to cool. So what happens is the hotter the water gets, the more fans come on upstairs and keep it at whatever temperature it needs to be. There's a temperature gauge there, and that's the lube oil pressure there. You want your lube oil pressure to be between 40 and 50 pounds, really. You don't want it to be too low. If it's too low, then you got a problem. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Of course, if it gets too low, you're gonna get a crankcase button pop. Got you. Interesting. Wow. So how much water is in there? You know, I don't know. Why? I would imagine. So this is water cool, but it uses the air from the radiators and the fans to keep the water at a reasonable temperature. Correct. And each fan comes on at certain temperature to to the fact that all three of them will come on. So you I'll, take, I'll retire after. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Amtrak 19, Amtrak 20, eastbound, Austell. They are 24 minutes late this evening. 